used bikes aren't selling, their prices are going down rapidly, and I think this is the biggest sign that the bike industry is headed down. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, Josh here again with Daily Mountain Bike Rider, and today we're gonna to be talking about the used bike market. And the reason is that this clued me in to the turbulence and the turmoil that I think is about to happen in the bike industry. You see, I'm somebody who's always looking at the used market to see what bikes are reselling for, because I feel like if a high-end spec bike is only selling for half of its price on the used bike market, that means new bike prices are have to go down because sales are going to go down, and people who have half a brain or a friend in the industry are going to continually be steered to the used market instead of the new. So as I did some very quick searching just in my area up here in the Pacific Northwest up in Bellingham, Washington, I found prices that absolutely shocked me and I believe a lot of you don't even realize what's going on behind the scenes because you haven't stopped to look at it. So what I want to do is look at some bikes and some components that are currently being listed at outrageously low price and not selling and talk to you guys about the issues that I'm seeing and why I think this is going to be a bigger deal than we realize. So let's jump in and start first on Facebook Marketplace. Doing a quick search, I found this 2021 Specialized Stump Jumper Alloy. This is $1,700. This is what I would consider a entry-level aluminum mountain bike. The suspension is air suspension. It's got an X-Fusion shock, tires that haven't been used. Overall, it's a good looking bike, but again, this is great for somebody newer to biking. And if we click over to Specialized website, we'll notice that this bike, this exact same one, if you look over on this colorway right here, you'll notice same specs, same drivetrain, same suspension, and the price difference is $1,700 used on Facebook Marketplace and $2,800 new. That is a thousand dollar difference. That's like a 30% decrease. Maybe my math isn't right. But the other thing is this has been listed for a week and it's just not selling. And this is a perfect example about how somebody new to biking with a little bit of negotiating could get a bike at half off retail if they simply look around on the used market. But then we move on to our next Facebook Marketplace listing. And this is one I've actually seen around. It's been on the site for seven weeks. And that is this beautiful Transition Sentinel. And I don't just say that because I have one. Um, and it is a GX carbon build with carbon wheels for $5,500. Now, I know that's a lot of money and a lot of people aren't used to bike prices this high. But as we go up down, these are We Are One Union rims. I mean, that's the highest end wheel, one of the highest end wheels that you can buy um, with great hubs. This is I911 hubs, a large seat post, great suspension. I mean, this bike looks great. And here's what's interesting. If that price sounds high, then look at the transition website. This is the Sentinel, the exact same bike we were just looking at, zero changes whatsoever. And for their GX Carbon, it is $6,500, but that doesn't include carbon wheels. And if we go spec for spec, actually looking at what this bike on Facebook Marketplace is compared to the specs down below, we see that the price difference is arguably like $1,000 or $1,500 off. And again, this is a bike that's been sitting on the used market for seven weeks. I emailed the seller, it's still available. He said it's a rough bike market, and I'm sure he would take much less than what he's listing for because he probably hasn't heard much from anybody. But there are other items like components that are even more interesting than these and a lot cheaper. For instance, right here is a RockShox Zeb. It's arguably one of the best shocks out there. It's what I'm currently riding on my bike. And while this is the Charger R, that means a little less than the high-end model, this is selling for $400 and it has been posted for eight weeks. Nobody has bought a 29er 170 millimeter Zeb for eight weeks. And if you can compare that to a new one at a lower end one, again, not the ultimate, you're gonna see double the price. And again, this is just the listing, not what they're actually going to take, and we're seeing 50% off. And what that means is for any of us looking for brakes, suspension, drivetrain, dropper post, the list goes on and on and on. If people can't sell them on the used market for half the price, then why would we go over and buy them new? Jumping over to Pink Bike, this is where my eyes kind of like popped out of my head. There is Fox 36 and Fox 38 Performance Forks for 350 bucks or $400, and these things are a dime a dozen. And the thing about these is you can kind of tell here from the top, this is the Grip 2 damper. So this is the latest damper from Fox. Yes, there are small updates that have been made, but if you look to buy this exact fork, just the 2023 model, black, Grip 2, couple added technology pieces, you're looking at $1,050 plus tax 
versus $350. And here's the other thing, and this is something that I've noticed as well. Technology has not increased dramatically. Forks have come a long way over the last, I would say, 15 years, but in the last five, they've made small incremental increases. And I would say bikes in general. Boost spacing is pretty standard. We finally figured out good geometry on bikes and their changes aren't that dramatic as much as they used to be. So as we keep going on in Pink Bike, we find other listings like this 2020 Gorilla Gravity Narvana. Now, this bike has been updated, which means they made a couple small geometry changes, but overall the bike is, for all intents and purposes, the same. And what we get here is a great build. You have a 12-speed, um, Shimano drivetrain, you have a Fox Float X2, a Fox 36 up front, and when we go to Gorilla Gravity site, a comparably spec bike, now this bike is spec a little bit nicer than the one that I saw on Facebook Marketplace, but you're looking at double the price. Are you willing to lose $3,500? That would buy you a 15 year old Honda Civic or Toyota Corolla. Okay, maybe not right now, but maybe in like a couple months, it'll buy you a car plus the bike that is for all intents and purposes, close to the same. And then we find other bikes, like a 2022 Transition Spire. This bike just came out, and this thing looks beautiful. Zeb fork up front, RockShox suspension in the back, GX drivetrain, decent brakes, $4,800. And when we look on the new website, oh my goodness, that's the exact same bike. And when we scroll down, we get to the GX Carbon. It's the exact same spec. And when we go up to look at the price, it's $6,300 plus tax. I don't know about you, but if I was advising a friend, I would encourage him to save the $1,500. No, here in Washington, that would be $2,000. And again, this is just a list price. And this bike has been on the site for two weeks and it's still up and no one's buying it. And that's the other thing is every single posting that I'm finding, whether it be a 2021 Canyon Strive with a beautiful orange Fox Fork, this thing looks pristine, $3,900. And it's been listed since August. For months and months, these products are sitting on the used market. Go right now, look at Pink Bike, look at Facebook Marketplace, and you'll see that the prices are at the floor, and this is why bike shops are running sales when they can, when SRAM is allowing them to run sales as they did during the holiday season. And what I truly believe, again, I would, I would bet that come the bike season, whether it be at the beginning or in the middle or even at the end, we're going to see lower prices for new equipment because they're just not gonna sell through. And I think what we're also gonna see is the used bike market like I'm currently looking at right now, continue to go down further and further as people are struggling to try to recoup their cost or get their money back for an investment they made. And that doesn't even talk about those people who bought mountain bikes thinking they were gonna use them and only took them out for a couple of rides. I could talk a lot more about this and show you more examples, but overall, I'm just, again, trying to show you guys that besides the bike industry making cuts in their individual companies, the used bike market is again, cluing us into something going on, the overstock of product in bike shops. And for those of you who still don't believe me or think that I just like to capitalize on what's happening in the bike industry, I'm just like you noticing bike prices have gotten too high I enjoy this sport, and I think there's cheaper options out there that could cause some harm for companies selling new equipment. That's enough for me though, as usual, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I'm really enjoying making this content because this is stuff that I look at all the time, I talk to my friends about, and I would love to hear your input. You can email me as well if you have further information or wanna have a conversation, or maybe you know something else I don't behind the scenes, and I would love to report it back to the rest of my viewers. With that, you know what time it is. Don't spend too much time watching a guy talk about the used bike market, but get out there, ride your bike, and make sure you do it every day.